Looking ahead, one of the things that is extremely important to us going forward is to be able to continue our ministry of care for you as the church body during some of your most difficult moments. First, we want to express our thanks for the 14 men that serve as our deacons. In many ways, they'll be on the front lines of making contacts and visits when there are needs. We recognize that in many cases, you may not yet know who your deacon will be, and so please stay tuned as we'll be rescheduling our Meet Your Deacon Sunday in the very near future. Once you know your deacon, we want to encourage you to make contact with them first. When you or a family member is dealing with a health emergency, surgery, hospice situation, or the passing of a loved one. Once our deacons have received the information, they'll pass it on to our pastoral staff. In addition to the ministry of care the deacons are already involved in, you can expect to see and hear from your three full-time pastors, Luke, Jeremy, and myself, more often during this transitional season. Once our new senior pastor comes on board, we'll want to involve him as well. You're always welcome to reach out to one of our pastoral staff or the church office, especially as we make this transition. But as you find out who your deacon is, we really want to encourage you to begin to reach out to them first. We know transition is hard, but don't lose sight of the fact that God has good things ahead for us. We love you and want to continue to care for you as our church family.